Hello and thank you for joining us for another product review here at Sharp Shooting Supply. I'm Tyler Sharp and let's uh, dive in. So today we have the Springfield Echelon. This 9mm, um, I was pretty excited for this one to come out. I'd kind of seen some uh, product release videos of it and I don't get really excited for new, new uh, handguns to come out very often and I was pretty excited for uh, this one to come out. So this 9mm would make a great, great concealed carry or uh, you could even leave it next to the bed or in your truck or whatever you wanted to do. This particular gun here features the four and a half inch barrel or it comes with a 5.28 inch threaded barrel. The 17 plus one mag capacity. They've also got a 20 plus one mag. I believe it might be in the box. We're gonna find out here in a minute. One of the cool things Springfield did with the Echelon was the COG, or the Control Operating Group. The entire trigger group is self-contained so that you can uh, swap the, the trigger between frames. I think they got a little bit smaller frames. I think they even go one size bigger. So the serial number right there is on the COG, so you don't have to worry about having to do different background checks for uh, different frames and stuff like that. The Echelon does feature a uh, optic cut slide. It is their VIS system or variable interface system. With the, the system that they have created here, it uh, can accommodate, I think over 30 different optics. You just change out the series of pins in there and, and then uh, they have extra screws. So you can uh, mount whichever optic uh, is your personal favorite on there. The uh, Firearm does feature really deep uh, rear and front serrations, so you're not gonna you're not gonna lose your grip on this thing. It, it feels really really good. You can rack it really easy. So the, that's uh, that's pretty cool. They do feature and highlight this front trench that's on both sides, so it gives you a nice natural place to rest your finger. If you want to keep it off the trigger and out of the way, even when you're racking it, you've got a nice place to rest your finger. That was a that was a pretty smart move on their end. The back of the gun does, or back of the slide, I'm sorry, does feature this flare right here, so you can just really grip it, really easy to to uh, to rack your rack your uh, round in there. So that was a pretty smart move on their end. It does have interchangeable back straps, um, small, medium, and large. I believe this one's the medium that they uh, that put on there from the factory. So pretty pretty cool does feature a really oversized trigger guard so if you've got uh, gloves on or whatever or there's just there's just no way your finger is not going to go into that trigger guard um, it does also have an ambidextrous slide stop so for those righties or lefties no problem getting the slide released and it does feature a really large accessory rail for your lights lasers or whatever you want to put on there another thing that's kind of cool is that u-shape it uh, sure helps me get on target a little bit faster compared to uh, the traditional two dots or even the, the U or the the square U from Glock. So that was a pretty cool, pretty cool feature they put on here. Great, great concealed carry piece. And they've also done a really good job of polishing that feed ramp on there. So your uh, failure to feed rate should go way down. So let's check out what's in the box. So they give you a nice little range pouch. Hold your gun, extra mag. Of course, the used handgun safety notice we have to put in there. The user's manual. And they include the target that they used at the factory. So to show that your gun does shoot accurately. Here are those pins that we were talking about. So that pin sets for the shield uh, sight. This one here is for the delta point. Pretty cool, nice of them to include that. Got extra grip, grip plates, magazine load assist tool. And here is another 17 plus one. But with this plate on there, I believe that uh, jumps up your, uh, increases your capacity to the 20 plus one and the trigger lock. So all in all, I think SIG did a really, I'm sorry, Springfield did a really, really good job on this piece. Um, like I said, I was excited about it, made in America. So it's fun to support those American made manufacturers. Uh, you really can't go wrong with the Echelon if you're not really sure what you're looking for. This is a good, great, solid uh, all-around handgun, and uh, I think you'll be happy with it. Thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you on the next one.